Well, going back now, I understand you would maybe had plans to become a carpenter. That was maybe something that you thought you would be doing. Is that right? Where you know you're toward the end of your college. Well, years? I actually had applied to the University of Virginia in an MBA program. I was an economics major at Auburn, and that was good for going to graduate school, not good for anything else. And uh, I had applied. I'd been up for an interview. I, I honestly doubt I would have ever been accepted there. They had really, really, really smart people applying, and I, I could do the work, but I, w I didn't have the credentials. Um, and but when that offer came up, I called and said, "May I reapply in two years or a year?" You know, and they said, "Yeah, you can." Um, but w what happened was, when I got here, the only way I could make a living was as a carpenter. My, gra my gr grandfather had been a brick mason, so we were okay with our hands. Our family was okay with our hands. And uh, I started, you know, working as a carpenter and a construction worker and stuff like that. And, and then got, you know, better at it over time and supported myself in New York, you know, as a carpenter and a bicycle messenger. And so that's how the carpentry part of it came in. And I always liked, because acting is, it's, you know this, it's so hard. Um, to kind of see what you're doing. You, don't, you can't see what you're doing. I mean, you can see it in reflection later, but you can't when you're doing it. Carpentry is wonderful because the tolerances are so specific. It's a great anecdote, you know, to, to what we do, I think. And, and, it, and it, it forces you to be specific, and that's not a bad thing for an actor either, so.